All right, the Curly now, the junior provincial titles were decided today in Nipwin on the men's side. Regina's Braden Muscawi was looking to become the first men's skip to win back-to-back -back junior championships since Regina's Neil Kersons did it back in 1995. Now, Braden Muscawi and his Regina rink were pretty solid throughout the week. We'll pick it up first end, and Brady Sharback from Saskatoon, line three. Muscawi will make the hit and stick for one, and it's a one nothing game. Third end now, Muscawi is line one on a four-foot. Jarback tries to draw to the forefoot, but he would just be inches short despite the brushing. Muscawi steals, and at this point, it's 3 nothing. Fifth end now, Muscawi is one on the button, and Jarback has an open hit for one. That's his first point of the game, but in the eighth end, Muscawi would get this thing done. Already line one, he raises in another stone to count two, and that's enough. Muscawi wins it 6-1, to one, becoming the first junior men's skip in 16 years to win back-to-back -back titles. It was, we got we got one in the first, so then we knew if we went top four, they were just going to go up with a corner. And Matt basically just said every, every single end up perfect. We went top four, a perfect guard, and then they couldn't get to it from there on out. So the game's super easy when your lead plays like that, and uh, basically just rolled from there. Women's junior final had Saskatoon's Trish Paulson right there looking to win back-to-back -back titles as well. Pick up action to the seventh end, score tied at two. Paulson tries to take out, but she loses her shooter and watch it. Actually, the rock she knocked out rubs on one of her own, and it's a steal of one for Fritzler. She led 3-2. The eighth end, Fritzler line one, but Paulson draws it in to tie things up at three apiece. Ninth end, Paulson, one rock touching the forefoot behind cover. Fritzler tries to draw, but she'll be heavy. So Paulson steals one and now leads by a score four to three. Tenth end, Paulson, three rocks in the ring, so Fritzler needs to get this to count, take it to an extra end, and she does exactly that. So we move to the 11th end. Paulson, a rock touching the back of the button right there. Fritzler needs to get inside it, but just can't get it. Paulson, she gets the win, five to four. The first women's back-to-back -back champion as well since Stephanie Miller slash Lawton. We made sure that we want to score in the eighth end so that we could force the nine and have the hammer coming home. Just so happened we stole in nine, so we had to kind of flip our strategy a bit. We played for the extra end, and that's how it ended up. And that is your sports internet connection. Get all your sports information on CTV Regina at noon, 6 o'clock and 11.30.